Hey, real quick. I keep forgetting to mention this, but I think this will be interesting to you guys. So the last video I was talking about Cowboy Bebop being canceled on Netflix and all the certain things that may have contributed to it, right? And I also mentioned a point of how the Netflix adaption may have missed a mark on certain things that may have been important in the anime that they might not think was important in the live action adaption. And I always wanted to bring this up, but I keep forgetting every time I make these videos. So, so stay with me, guys. If you guys notice in the last episode of the Netflix adaption, Spike and Vicious are fighting as usual like they did in Battle of the Fallen Angels, right? But there's something that's missing there, right? Yes. Spike don't have his trench coat on. When he, even, even before the, when there were trailers and stuff like that, uh, before the before the series dropped, I seen that and I'm like, mm, I don't like that. Maybe that's just a nitpick, but but hear me out. I think that trench coat was overlooked because people didn't think it was important. When in reality, it might be one of the most important things that has to do with Spike in the series. Let me explain. So check it. If you notice in the anime series, anytime there's flashbacks that have to do with Spike and the syndicate, Julia, Vicious, he has that trench coat on. When he goes to Julia and you see the silhouettes of Julia and Spike, Spike's going to run away about, I think he's going to fake his death. He has that trench coat on, right? When he and Vicious are back to back shooting it's whoever, he has that trench coat on, right? When he goes into the church, I, I believe vicious homies find him. Bang, bang, bang. Shoots his eye. Blood. You see him smile. Grenade. He has that trench coat on. When he falls in front of Julia's spot, he has that trench coat on. Anything that's in any type of flashbacks, there's a trench coat involved. And he's wearing that. Nowhere in the series, Spike ever had to change any type of clothes he any other time he didn't have to do no changing of clothes or nothing but in battle of the fallen angels and rufo blues anytime he was forced to address his past that trench coat was on so why am i coming with this crazy theory right i believe that trench coat is a symbol of his past that he can't let go of it's a symbol of a conflict between the past spike and the future spike right it's a symbolization of the man he used to be the ravenous beast that hunts for the blood of others the only time he goes to that trench coat is when he has to deal with his past and I think that's something that was really important that may have missed the mark. I think a lot of people might have missed that mark. Because that trench coat means something. In fact, like I said, it symbolizes something that he can't let go of. If he really wanted to let go of that past, why does he need that still? I, I believe that's the same old trench coat from the past, from the flashbacks, all of that. He 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 in in he has that conflict between himself, the present self, and the past self. I I think that he puts on that trench coat because he doesn't want the present spike to turn into that beast again. He doesn't want to be confronted the where he has like just like his eyes. One eye he sees the past, the other he sees the present. To deal with certain things that he has to deal with, he has to become two certain people. You know what I'm saying? So when he goes to deal with the syndicate, he becomes this specific spike. When he deals with his present life, he's the present spike. So I believe that trench coat is a really important element in, in, the, in the life of Spike. It's a really subtle thing, but it's a, it's a symbolization of the life in the past that he cannot seem to get away from. Spy, uh, vicious. Julia all of that that whole that trench coat basically is a symbol of all of that throughout the entire series 
And I don't think the people on Netflix even considered thinking about it. They probably just seen it as a, a, a extra costume prop thing or whatever. I don't think they never went like really deep into the certain elements and the, the, the symbols and the things that make Cowboy Bebop Cowboy Bebop and, and the certain symbolizations of certain things. You know what I'm saying? I keep I keep forgetting to mention that because I think that's really cool. And I think people really don't catch that. I don't think people catch that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's something I caught. Um, let me know if I'm thinking too much in the comments. But yeah, that that that's an example of certain things that Netflix may have looked over that might have been something very small to them. But it's if you really watch the series and you watch how things are, if you see how things work, if you look at the symbolizations and the certain subtleties and stuff, you'll catch some things in that show. And I believe that trench coat is a really important element in the character of Spike Spiegel. It lets you know that when something's going down with his past, he's going to put that on. Because either he can't deal with it as his present self or he needs to become that past self to be able to deal with with a demon like vicious but uh let me know how you think about that little theory of mine and i'll uh yeah that's all i got but yeah i'll see y'all later